All right, time now for Ask the Vet with Dr. Joel Kahn from the Pismo Beach Veterinary Clinic. Good to see you once again, Dr. Kahn. Uh, let's see, it is March 4th, we know, but on February the 26th last week, it was National Spay Day. World Spay Day. Excuse World me, World Spay World Day. Spay Day. Uh, so in honor of that, we're going to talk about spaying and neutering, and I guess each and every day can be That's right. World Spay Day, right? So World Spay Day, if you haven't heard of it before, is a, na is a national and international initiative by the uh, uh, Woods, or sorry, the Humane Society mm -hmm. of the United States and the International Humane Society to basically shine a light on mm -hmm. spaying and neutering programs and the importance of it. And so today we're going to give you some reasons if you're on the fence for spaying and neutering right, your very pet, important, very important, yeah. some reasons to do that. Yeah. So the first thing that we always talk about to clients is that spaying and neutering can actually significantly increase mm -hmm. the life and uh, the length of life and quality of life for your pet. Um, we know that in uh, female dogs and cats, if you can spay before the first heat, and that's important, mm -hmm. you can reduce the risk of reproductive cancers like ovarian cancer, breast cancer, by up to 80 to 90 percent, depending on what report you read. And that's huge. And when you say um, first heat, what, what, what's the time frame there? So typically with a, with a dog, it depends on the size of the dog, um, that can be anywhere from six to 12 months. Okay. So we usually spay in sort of that five to six month window. Most of the time it's going to be closer to eight to 12 months um, but we usually try to get in there sooner so that okay. we don't miss it okay. um, if you miss that first heat but still spay before the second heat you still get about a 25% reduction so you haven't completely lost the, mm -hmm. the the benefits there and that's a huge thing the other thing is that uh, about one in five intact female dogs at one point in their life will have what's called a pyometra mm -hmm. which is a, a uterine infection and this is a life-threatening infection oh my goodness um, that you have to do emergency surgery for here's an example of a mammary tumor um, we always tell uh, uh, owners of female dogs that have not been spayed to kind of, you know, check along their, their dogs and just make sure you're not seeing any lumps or bumps mm -hmm. and we want to catch those early because oh they can goodness. be really ugly. The statistics are in females, uh, dogs, about 50% of the tumors we see are malignant. In cats, it's closer to 90%, so really significant. Um, one of the other things are that heats are not fun. If you've been through a heat with, with a female dog, they're, they're not necessarily a fun thing to go through. Um, obviously, there's, uh, you know, sometimes you have to do things like diapers and, and it's <laughs> fine and well in a, you know, a three pound Yorkie, but in a 110 pound lab, that can be uh, not so exciting. And, and that can also go along with infections, mastitis, mm -hmm. things like that, uh, that can be problems. Um, in male animals, we, we can see behavioral problems. Mm -hmm. You've probably heard of that. Mm -hmm. So dogs, sure. one of the most common things we see is marking. Um, they're more likely to roam in some cases, a little bit more likely to be aggressive, too. And it's uh, it's unbelievable. A male dog, if they scent a, an intact female in heat, they can literally get pick up that scent from, from well over a mile. Wow. And they, yeah. they've been known to jump, you know, six, eight-foot fences to find a female <laughs> dog. So, you know, obviously, reproduction is, is a major issue. Even if your dog is kept enclosed, they can sometimes escape and we end up with a, with a problem. Um, there are some myths surrounding spaying and neutering. Spaying and neutering does not cause obesity. It can slow the metabolism down. We simply say, feed a little bit less. Um, just like with any person, our, our metabolisms vary from animal, from person to person, from animal to animal is the same thing. Um, some people use this as a, as a reason, as, as a lesson for their children. And to me, you know, I think there's some benefits of going through this, I guess, with your child, but also you're teaching them maybe not such a responsible thing, um, you know, contributing to the overpopulation problem, which, right. is, which is huge. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we actually, I think we had a graphic here. This is a one cat over 16 months uh, can produce 36 cats. Wow. Um, so one pregnant female. And so, you know, our, our, our shelters every day are literally putting down thousands okay. of pets, and that's a major, major concern. Well, we appreciate it. Uh, always very important. My, my best Bob Barker imitation, have your pets uh, spayed or neutered, right? Very that's good. right. <laughs> Dr. Khan, that's good advice. Vet. You can always contact them at askthevet at kcly.com. And we'll be right back after the break.